Welcome back to Rune Factory 5. As you can see, we have just entered autumn, so we're finally in the fall season and the map looks entirely different, so I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like when we go outside. Also, let's check out what like festivals we have on this month. So of course, on the 3rd, we have the handicraft contest, which I used a directive to do like ages ago so that's going to be an interesting one to participate in we also have the we have valentine's day to do i'm sure we're going to get a ton of stuff if it like works that way i don't know then we have white day and we also have the awesome harvest festival and i'm sure there's even more directives that we can do to like you know have even more festivals so we should be able to to do that as well so that's going to be great fun and also because it is now awesome, we should be able to plant up some more starfall crops. So we're going to be doing that so we get some more seeds. We also have new music, which is very nice to hear. I always like it when we have some new tunes to listen to. So we got these starfall seeds and we're going to plant... I think we should plant one whole bag. Let's go with one whole bag because we might need it for taming food as well. So... Yeah, that would be great, actually. So we got a lot to to do today, I feel like. And I'm just going to enjoy the ambience of the the new soundtrack. It's very nice. Very nice indeed, <laughs> for sure. All right, let's keep watering up all our plants. We got plenty to to do here, for sure. We also... Re oh, what happened there? I don't know. We really need some money, I was gonna say, but I think we got quite a bit incoming. So we just need to wait until like eight o'clock to get that. So that's gonna be super cool as well. But I feel like we're making great progress. I haven't had the chance to farm any more resources just yet but it's not really like it's something we need immediately I wouldn't say I think like the next like lot of stuff we're gonna buy is definitely flooring for the house I completely forgot to do that <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have quite enough to be able to do that today but I will check let's see how much I've actually got in there so I got 35,000 we need 50,000 so we would definitely need to earn a little bit more and i don't know if that's gonna happen today <laughs> i'm not too sure we could try and get the wool from our sheep and see if like that gets us a little bit more money that would be great just kind of grab this before the shipping thing comes all right there we go that's a nice amount we'll sort out the brushing and that stuff later i'm just trying to see if i can just scrape enough money like for this but i really don't know i guess we'll see let's put that in there let's see how much is in there now Forty thousand. if we can make another ten thousand, we could buy the flooring today <laughs> i would love to do that i really would but it's like it's gonna depend on how much i can harvest within like an hour so <laughs> it's not much time at all we'll see we'll see all right, harvest this. Uh, flowers I usually keep, so I don't want to do that. Anything else? I don't see anything else to harvest. All right, let's put this away and see how much this gives us. Don't think it's going to be 10,000, but you never know. That was that was pretty good. 6,000, that was pretty decent, I have to say. There's nothing here that would make us money, so let's head downstairs and... We could check the bottom field and of course we have like three other fields well two other fields that could possibly make us money so we could check those ones too that would be great but we'll see we'll see what happens all right let's see come on hurry up hurry up and load i haven't got all day okay so we got some like peppers invisible peppers because it still hasn't loaded in probably <laughs> oh no it's cucumbers i couldn't even see what it was so i had no idea all right, what else? Leeks. Let's grab some of these leeks. Actually, that would be great. I only got a couple there, but that's all right. Some flowers. I actually, I think I need those flowers, so I'm going to keep those. Anything else? I don't think there's anything else to harvest here. 51,000. We just made it, guys. Oh, yeah, we're going to be able to buy the flooring today. Happy times, happy times. I wasn't sure if we were going to make enough money, but we lucked out. <laughs> So that's super cool. We're going to be able to buy the flooring and complete the house today. 
there probably is other things that we could harvest and put in there but i think that that will be okay for now um actually it should be fine okay so let's brush the animals today that would be great daisy's still in here just having a great time <laughs> from the looks of it so that's great oh, these cows is stuck but never mind <laughs> there's cerberus see if we can give cerberus a little brush and once we grow these starfill seeds um this season that will be when we will be able to tame yet another boss like another boss monster so that would be good and we should also be able to do one in winter time but it's kind of like a monthly wait to do the boss monsters now because the items that they require are just getting like tougher and tougher to obtain. So I think Starfall is like the easiest way in my opinion. So yeah, it's going to take a little bit to do those sadly, but it will give us something to look forward to in the future. So there is that as well. If I can just like just put a couple more things in the shipping bin just to help us out so like we actually have some money to work with that would be great but like I don't think it's like that big of a deal there's only like two seconds left <laughs> sadly okay so we can put these things in I'm probably gonna keep some of them though so there is that um in the storage box I want to keep the flowers was there any claws no, there wasn't any claws. I'm trying to collect some more claws, but there's none in there anyway. We want the milk and the eggs for sure. I don't think we need honey, so that honey is probably fine to go off. But that actually is probably going to get us quite a bit over. So that's like 4,000 over now. So we should have like six, five or 6,000 over. So that should be enough to work with even after we've brought the flooring. Because <laughs> otherwise we're going to be left with literally like zero. And I don't want to be left with like literally zero money after buying the floor. Because <laughs> that would be really bad, right? But at least we'll have like something left. So that'll be good. I got 55,000 now which is great actually I'm happy with that okay good stuff good stuff all right let's go and get these I really need to tame some more stuff I've just been super lazy I really need to do that I keep putting it off just because I don't know I feel like I've got so many other things to do and to like get on with so I just haven't gotten around to it so it sucks but I know I'll do it eventually it's just whenever I can just be bothered to do it I guess but there we go there's that done I guess we have to wait until 9 a.m for the um for Palmos to open we could head over there though and see I suppose so I really want to see it I want to see our like completed wallpaper and curtains and flooring in all their glory i'm like super excited for that do you think there's any new like requests since we're now in a new season maybe oh it's taking a while no there's not okay i just wanted to check so oh we have an event already it's really early for an event shall we trigger this it'll give us something to do let's go trigger this with lucy and see what this is all about maybe we can trigger two in one day that'd be great hmm. What's up, Lucy? Are you having, like, doubts? I don't know, she misses her dad, doesn't she? What's wrong, Lucy? Those are some serious wrinkles between your eyebrows. Um... Oh no, maybe it's just me, but I think there's something weird about the mirror my dad sent huh? me. Weird? Yeah. yeah, it happens when you look at your reflection in it. Suddenly, stuff you've been keeping to yourself, thoughts, secrets, whatever, it all just kind of comes tumbling out. Oh really? Is it a mirror of truth? <laughs> Is that what's going on? That sounds familiar. Who have you shown this mirror to? Well... Um, let me think. Reinhard, Randolph and Martin I think. Oh, so that's what those cutscenes were about. Now it makes sense. I knew it. No wonder they were acting so strangely. I'm starting to think there's some kind of spell on this mirror. Uh... What, like... A mummy's curse that's a little creepy <laughs> oh no what just happened I sure hope not oh god something weirds happening oh no is there an actual mummy <laughs> that would be crazy huh little... hey get back here give me back my mirror what stole it like what what just happened I want to know <laughs> I don't know hello there Mosi have you seen Lucy uh... Yeah, but, um, a bird just stole her mirror. She went running off after it towards the hmm. east. That could be an issue. Is something the matter? 
I just got an emergency letter from my husband. Apparently the mirror he gave her was no ordinary trinket. It was an enchanted tool used in ancient courts to ensure that the accused could speak only the truth. Oh no. Worse yet, if you stare at it for too long, you risk losing the ability to lie. You'll only speak the absolute truth at all times. Hey, isn't that a good thing? <laughs> uh oh, I can see how that would be a problem. At least Lucy already says exactly what she's thinking anyway. I doubt the curse will affect her much. I think you're mistaken. <laughs> Quite the opposite, actually. She swallows her true feelings far more often than you'd think. What? Never mind. My point is that the mirror is dangerous, and I'd like to dispose of it as quickly as possible. Could you tell Lucy to bring it home right away from me? Okay. I think we're gonna find out a lot about Lucy from this endeavor actually so that's gonna be that's gonna be really interesting but oh wait it looks like okay she ran off into the forest okay it looks like we can continue with this so that's great I'm not sure if um Palmos is open yet I'm just gonna check it on the way past because I really want to buy that flooring I <laughs> just I'm desperate for that flooring <laughs> I gotta get it I gotta complete my collection you know and it's just something I've been working towards for a while but let's check it out 9 a.m to 6 p.m on weekdays are we we're on holidays it's still 9 a.m okay so they actually close early today so i would like to get this done as quick as possible that would be great they're opening any second now so i'm just gonna just hang about here for a second until they open up okay i think they're open now so let's see if i can do something here no they're still not you should be opening at nine shouldn't you <laughs> Hmm, they don't seem to be selling me anything, <laughs> which is super annoying. It's nine o'clock, open up you lazy butts. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Oh, there you go. They were just a little bit delayed, I you know that when they zone out, that's when it like works, so, so that's good. Oh no, not furniture. No, 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 I want renovations and we want to oh, buy the flooring. So we got the, right now we've got the fleecy flooring i think yeah there's the woolly and then there's the the fleecy floor i think that's what we need because right now we have maybe it's not showing the fleecy ones because we already brought them that's probably it so we want to change to the fleecy floor Fifty thousand to purchase that that is what i came here for so we now have that so that is fantastic now let's continue with Lucy's storyline see how far we can get with that and maybe we can possibly even do another storyline I like the little like effect of like the wind blowing like I think that's just like you know just sort of like only happens in this season and it's kind of like nice to see I suppose <laughs> nice to hear I guess you could say it's nice <laughs> I like it okay so we go ahead straight down wow she really went quite deep into the forest here I hope that she hasn't run into any monsters because there's a lot of monsters around here for sure I wouldn't be surprised if she's like been attacked or something oh boy let's hope that she's okay but if not we'll come to her rescue like we always do it's around here somewhere that i've got to be i just need to find the exact location lucy where are you <laughs> trying to find you ah there you are i found you okay look at those beautiful autumn trees <laughs> they look great good stuff lucy what happened to the mirror it's up in that tree oh no okay i could use my seal to get it down right that dumb bird dumps it in its nest and then took off again. I was just about to climb up there and get it. Okay. All right. Let, that's too dangerous. Let me do it. Yeah, I'll do it. You'll, you'll be fine down here. Nah, I couldn't ask you to do that. Sides, it's just as dangerous for you. Okay. No, I'll be fine. Let me take care of it. How about you keep watch in case the bird comes back? I'll zip up there and grab sure. the mirror. Okay, got it. Make it quick, Morsi. Okay, weird. Usually she'd try to turn this into a competition. Maybe she's still under the truth spell. Hmm, she's definitely like not herself right now. But maybe we'll learn a new side of her. Anyway, I've got to get that mirror before the bird comes back. Right, that seems like a good idea. Go, go! Gun butter! You can do it, Mosey! <laughs> Hoop! 
Hey, Lucy, I found it. The mirror's right here. Now I just have to get down and... Uh-oh. Oh no. Marcy, watch out. The bird's back. Whoa. Well, how big is this bird? <laughs> ah, hey, stop flapping at me. Oops. Morty. Oh no, did I fall? Oh boy, did I get a soft landing? <laughs> I thought I landed on Lucy. Oh, ouch. We're okay. Everything's fine. I'm sure we'll manage. Morty. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. Probably a little bruised, but I'm fine. Ah, hey. oh, crap. You scraped your elbow. Here, let me see that. Oh, she's so kind. Phew, it's not so bad, but you're bleeding. Let's get you patched up. Okay, very kind of you, Lucy. I mean, her mum is a doctor, so I guess, like, she's, yeah. um, had practice with this. Look at the way my, like, weird cloak is, like, sticking upwards. That looks weird. There, that ought to do it. Good thing I had a first aid kit with me. Hardly surprising. You're a doctor's daughter. Right, that's true. Eh, it's just a habit since Julian's always finding new and inventive ways to collect scrapes and bruises. That's kids for you. <laughs> Good point. Still, you handled that bandage like a pro. I'm impressed. Thanks. When I was little, I really wanted to help mum out, so I tried studying medicine. I figured if I could assist her, then we'd get to spend at least a little more time together. Oh man, she's just really lonely, isn't she? But I'm too much of a klutz to really be of any help. At least I could help you, Marcy. That makes me glad. Yeah, you are a big help. Thanks. You're welcome. And, um, I'm sorry. It's my fault you got hurt. Also, uh, I'm really sorry about how I acted when we first met. I've wanted to apologise for that for a long time. Wow, her feelings are all coming out now. <laughs> I accused you of being a weirdo for ages. That was a pretty messed up thing to do. To be honest, I completely forgot that you called me that. <laughs> okay, that's okay, I understand. Thanks, you really are a nice person. You are helping me, even if it means getting battered and bruised. I know you've been busy, yet you're always up for any challenge I throw at you. Even now you're listening, no matter how stupid I sound. The truth is, you've become super important to me. Oh my, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I'm really glad you came to Rigbath, Morty. Thank you. Lucy. Oh, love is in the air. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I said that out loud, stupid mirror. <laughs> now what am I going to do? It's making me say all this crap and I still can't shut up. <laughs> yeah, apparently that mirror had a spell on it. One that makes people tell the truth. It's so dangerous that Simone sent me to find you. She wants to dispose of it. Hmm, I think it could be interesting. Go give it to all the residents uh -huh. of Rigbath and see what happens. <laughs> what? It really is cursed. Yeah. yeah, but see? When I fell from the tree, it cracked. I doubt the spell on it could survive that. What? Oh, gods. Then everything I said was... Me? Yep, you said it all on your own, without any influence from the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that's super cute. Look at her blush. Oh, jeez. Now I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Don't be. I'm glad this happened. It makes me happy to hear what you really think. You're the best, Multi. As for the mirror itself, we can ask Duroc to fix nah. it. Nah, let's not. That's a pretty dangerous artifact to have lying around. We'll leave it the way it is. Even if it's broken, it's still a gift from my dad. Besides, I've discovered something even more important. Huh? huh? What was that? Was it your love for me, Lucy? <laughs> Is that what you were trying to tell me? <laughs> Anyways, let's head on back to town, okay? Last one there is a rotten egg. I'm actually kind of glad that she opened up like that. I wish she opened up like that more often. Because, like, most of the time, like, she hides her feelings. And I just think that's super sad, you know? Oh, since I'm, like, right down here, I might as well go check for some tree seeds. There's any down here. Let's let's see. Oh, apple seeds. Great. I don't have that many apple seeds, so so that is fantastic. I'll probably plant that up on the ice dragon farm at some point. I'm assuming that was the last one. Yeah, so now we can continue with some other characters. We have Cecil, Lucas, and Priscilla. And they those are like the only heart events that we actually have on the map right now. So 
And that just goes to show how many we've actually done because I remember a time when my map was just absolutely covered in heart events and it doesn't doesn't seem to be the case right now. I reckon we should do Priscilla's because I feel like we've actually had quite a lot with Priscilla. So I feel like maybe if we did hers we'd still be able to do the other heart events i don't know for sure obviously so we'll just have to like go and test it and just like see what pops up but i'm looking forward to seeing where it's gonna go because priscilla recently has been talking about this letter right and she wants to know who her rescuer is so it's going into a bit more like personal territory with her heart events recently so i'm curious Hey guys, what's everyone up to? Yeah, it's like a party at the um the great tree. Hi, Mosey. Hey, listen. You can be the prince, okay? Whoa, hold it. I get to be the prince. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm confused. We were just discuss we were just discussing a little skit that Priscilla wrote. Now we're assigning the roles. Okay, and you want me to play the prince? Precisely. Princes are kind and gentle and strong and they care a whole lot about their people. The prince rescues all the princesses after they get kidnapped and then picks one to marry at the end. I think you'd make the perfect prince, Malty. Why, thank you. <laughs> right, Priscilla? Y yeah. I, um, I think it would be nice if Malty were the prince. Do you want to be my princess, Priscilla? <laughs> Me? A prince? If that's what Priscilla wants, I guess I can settle for being prince number two. <laughs> I'm sorry, Julian. <laughs> nope, Julian, you get to be the princess. Wait, what is going on here? This is getting what? a bit weird. Ah, <laughs> oh, seriously? But I wanted you to be the princess, and I'd be the prince, and... Come now, Julian. Let's practice sharing and let Morsi be the prince, just for today, alright? <laughs> Not that I've agreed to do it yet. Ugh, fine. If you can, if you, if you even can be a good prince. Oh yeah? Well, I can. I shall fulfill my princely duties. Oh yeah. Long ling, long live Prince Malty. <laughs> Yay. Okay, your highness. We're all going to get kidnapped. Once you've finished counting, you come rescue us. Wait, what? Yay. Is this hide and seek? You come being kidnapped. Help. <sighs> <laughs> Damsel in distress. Oh, okay, okay, I'm going. Uh... Prince Malty, huh? Looks like I've been giving a bit big role. Yeah. We gotta step up and fulfill our duties. Alright, let's go and rescue the damsels in distress. We gotta be a good a good prince and a good knight in armour. Right? Let's see what's in this box. Ooh, nice. hello. I'll take that. Salted pike. Might sell for a decent amount, maybe. Let's see. No, it doesn't. Well, I don't know. I could use it for RP or something like that, perhaps. Okay, are we going into... Am I actually playing hide and seek here? Am I actually looking for people or what? I don't know. Looks like there's another event like here. Is it inside? I actually don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for here, <laughs> but I'm sure we'll find something. Let's see what's in here. Haha. -ha. Prince Malty, so you've arrived. Were you expecting me? <laughs> Yikes, Reinhard looks like he doesn't want to do this. <laughs> um, I've come to rescue Princess Beatrice. I refuse. I will not let some nameless riffraff of uncertain character spirit away her highness. Actually, I think you're supposed to be playing the part of the riffraff. <laughs> yeah, you're the kidnapper. <laughs> and guard! He's not listening. <laughs> He's not playing properly. <laughs> I think he should be removed from the from the play. <laughs> He's cheating. Whoa, hey. Hey, you actually swinging at me. I'm going to be playing. Reinhard, you do know that this is just a game, right? Oh boy. <laughs> Getting a bit too serious. Ah, right. I beg your pardon. Force of habit. Oh my god, it's a dangerous force of habit, you know. Okay, here I come. Prepare yourself. Yeah. I'm gonna be the hero. Ugh, I am defeated. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> I just briefed in this direction. Princess Beatrice, I have come to rescue you. Why, thank you. How very kind. 
For a moment, you seemed so much like a real prince that my heart skipped a beat. Oh my, isn't this meant to be Priscilla's heart event? Why is it, why, why am I rescuing Beatrice? It should be Priscilla I'm rescuing. Oh, oops, that line wasn't in Priscilla's script. My apologies. Well. Anyway, I'm off to the Great Tree Plaza. Please meet me there once you've rescued everyone else. Okay. Is there a lot of people to rescue? Oh boy. I think I still have some princesses left to rescue. <laughs> this is kind of like, kind of cute. I'm also in like a, like a soldier armor, like a very knightly armor right now. Okay, so oh, I can't look at the map, so I can't see the locations exactly. So I'm just gonna have to like look around and hope that I spot them. Okay, we got someone to rescue in the um in the clinic. So let's go and rescue them. It's probably Hina or Julian or something. I don't know. I hope we get to actually rescue Priscilla as well. That would be super cute, but we'll see. We'll see what happens, I suppose. Yeah. Alright, let's what's going on? Man, I wanted to be the prince. You can be the prince tomorrow. Jeez, stop being greedy. <laughs> what is it, Julian? Don't you like being a princess? Why would I? First of all, I'm a boy. So? I'm a girl and I have to be a prince, so, so suck it up. Oh, I see. <laughs> so if you weren't a boy, you wouldn't mind the role. Yeah? What's that supposed to mean? See, I've been experimenting with a magic elixir that will let princes turn into princesses. This seems like a good opportunity to try it out. How about I test it on you? <laughs> My god, he's not gonna like that. <laughs> Then you won't have any reason to complain about playing your part, will you? <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> He's making him so nervous. <laughs> the mum is just teasing him. <laughs> She's so evil. What? Oh crap, she's serious. <laughs> she's hi He's hiding. Mum, no, don't! Yeah, I think you're going a little too far there, Simone. <laughs> she's clearly joking. See, Julian is freaking out. Oops, <laughs> sorry, I guess I got a little carried away. Wait, you weren't joking? Come now, Julian, don't be so upset. You know I would never use my favourite son as a test subject. Yeah, right, that look in your eye was totally serious. I'm going to the plaza. Morsi, you better show up there after you rescue everybody else, okay? I feel like I rescued you from a very dangerous situation, probably the most dangerous. <laughs> Oh my, it looks like I completely terrified him. Well, yeah, your performance was a little too intense. If you have to be the villain, isn't it more entertaining to commit to the role? You did a fantastic job. I suggest you throw yourself into your own role, dear prince. Choose your princess carefully. Oh my, okay, I'll try my best. <laughs> I think I still got some princesses to rescue. All right, that's one down. Let's go and rescue some more peoples. All right, so we got two more locations, two more princesses to rescue. So let's go into the bathhouse and see who's in here. Who is awaiting my call? What damsel in distress needs rescuing <laughs> this time? <clears throat> oh, I'm surprised you found us so quickly, Prince Malty. <laughs> It looks like he's in on the game. I better play my part. Okay, release Princess Hina, you cad. <laughs> <laughs> if you want the princess, come and get her yourself. He's playing this role really well. I like this. Murakumo is really getting into it. Yeah. He save me, your highness. Save me. I love how, like, even though all of Rigbath have, like, yeah. things to do, like, Murakumo has an in to run, but yet he still finds time to play this stupid little game with, like, the kids. I think that's really, really, like, nice. <laughs> I think that's really sweet. Okay, here I come. Yeah. On guard, you foul fiend. Give me the princess. Ugh, you got me. Yes, I did. Thank you so much, Prince Malty. You're my hero. I'll go wait in the plaza, so hurry and rescue everybody else, okay? Okay. Why does she still look worried? I don't know. <laughs> that was weird, but it's okay. All right, good job, Murakumo. That was good. When she was smaller, she'd tell me I was her hero. Oh, <laughs> Oh, bless him. He's crying. That's super sweet. 
<laughs> he feels like he's Hina is slipping away from Mirakumo one day at a time. <laughs> That's super adorable. Oh, bless him. That's so sweet. Okay, anyway, on to the next princess. Let's see who else needs our expertise because I am expert prince right now. I know all the best ways to rescue all the princesses and damsel in distresses. <laughs> I got this. I got practice. Ah, now we get to rescue Priscilla. Ah, prince, help me. Hold you dis- Hold you detestable do-gooder. Today you have finally met your match. Oh, <laughs> what? Palmo, what's wrong? You suddenly froze up. Dost my eyes deceive me? It's you, my precious daughter. He was lost to me that day our poor village was razed to the ground by bandits. <laughs> Wait, what? Where did this outlandish story come from? <laughs> oh, how fickle the whims of fate that we would ever meet again is pure destiny. <laughs> um, Palmo, that line's not in the script. This isn't improv here. Hello. Oh, it's not? Ah. Uh. Well then, let's try that again from the top. Noble, pr noble prince, if you want me to return the princess to you, then shout your love to the world. Let rip from your throat words of such deep passion that they, that they leave me completely and utterly defeated. Was that actually in the script? <laughs> I'm not too sure. <laughs> I think I prefer Palmo's story with me being the daughter and our town was raised to the ground by bandits. That sounded really interesting to me. <laughs> Huh? But that's not. Don't hold back. Let your soul scream of love, of passion. Let me hear it all. <laughs> He's so bonkers. I love him. He's so crazy. <laughs> Priscilla isn't saying anything about the script this time. I guess that means she wants me to roll with it. Oh well, better play along. Alright. Oh god, what do I do? I love the print... Priscilla, I love you. Let's go right to, right to the point. <laughs> yes, true love needs no decoration. Keep it simple and sincere. Your words have resonated in every corner of my heart. All right, you win. I will return the princess to you. May the two of you find happiness forevermore. That was really cute. <laughs> I really like this heart event. That was super adorable. Uh, princess, I'm glad you're safe. Yeah, um... Thank you, Prince. Oh my. <laughs> that was so cute. Well, uh, well then, I guess I better go back to the plaza. Meet me there once you've uh, rescued everyone. That was insanely awkward, but so sweet at the same time. Oh my god, sweetness overload, my gosh. All right, so now we need to go back to the plaza because we have rescued everyone. So happy times. Let's go see what happens next. I am super curious actually, but the last couple of heart events have been great. The one with Lucy, I really enjoyed. This one, it seems really awesome as well. We've had some really, really nice scenes recently and I've had a blast like watching them and experiencing them. It's been great actually. Okay, now we're all saved. Morty's back. I am indeed. How do you feel now that you are no longer in villain clutches? Now that all are present, let us ask the prince to choose a princess to wed. Oh my, this um... It's all happening so quickly. <laughs> the chosen princess will receive a kiss on the tree on the cheek. Yeah. Uh, really? Um, okay. Yeah, no, count me out. Pick one of the other three. Oh boy, is this really gonna happen? <laughs> um, okay then. Oh god. Um, I mean, choosing Hina is a bit weird, but if it's innocent, then it wouldn't be that bad. If it's just like on the cheek, then it's fine. But we might be losing our chance here. I think we should do Priscilla since it is her heart event. Let's go with Priscilla. Let's see what happens here. I'm sorry, Beatrice. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> um, y you're really choosing me? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I'm glad. Oh my, are we really gonna kiss? Okay, ready, Priscilla? Um, yeah. Oh my. Really? 
oh my, we really kissed. And so the prince and the princess were wedded in a beautiful ceremony and spent the rest of their days in blissful harmony. The end. Oh my gosh. We're not even dating and we've already kissed. Now I have to marry you. <laughs> Priscilla, you're bright red. You, you be quiet. <laughs> oh my. You'd better watch out for that prince of yours. <laughs> Great, now I'm blushing too. Oh my, that's got to be like the most romantic heart event we've had so far. That's the first time we've actually like had a kiss scene in any of the heart events. So I'm really surprised that like we actually went that far. It was only an innocent like kiss on the cheek and stuff. But still, that's like the furthest we've gone so far. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely the furthest we've gone. Alright, since we're having a lovely time with cutscenes, we've just like, we've been really lucky and had a plethora of cutscenes today, which is really great. We either got Cecil or Lucas to do. Now, I'm pretty sure that we have done something for both of these. So this could be, it could be that we could finish all of them today. Possibly. We'll have to see how we get on with it. But we're going to do Lucas's. Last time we did Lucas's um, event, he was, he read our mind and showed us his new power. So I'm curious to see where it's gonna go from here, actually. I hear you've been putting on more magic shows for the townsfolk lately. Indeed I have. People enjoy my performances, which motivates me to do more of them. <laughs> yeah, everybody loves your magic tricks. They are not tricks. They are acts of divine, ugh. Not now, it'll just make things complicated. Yeah, this is just our secret, Lucas. <laughs> the other day, a few parents from around town came and spoke to me. They're worried because their children find your shows so entertaining that they don't come home until after dark. Oh no, Lucas, are you condoning this? You really should make them go home. <laughs> Even I've had to scold Lucy and Julian for staying out too late. <sighs> None of us like to think about our children walking alone in the dark. They could hurt themselves or catch a cold from the evening chill. Yeah, you need to tell them to go home, Lucas. I'm surprised you didn't realise that. Like, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Maybe he just doesn't think that way since he's a god, I don't know. Sooner or later, an accident is bound to happen. As a mother, as a doctor, and as the mayor, I can't take that risk but I also don't want to deprive the children of something they enjoy. So please finish your performances while the sun is still up. That way everyone can return home hmm. safely. I see. Understood. I'll do as you ask. Thank you. It's much appreciated. Well, at least he's like, you know, gonna like, you know, accept hmm. what she said and take on board what she said and follow through. So that's good. Hmm. Seeing the children happy made me happy. I thought entertaining them longer was an act of benevolence, but it but I see it's not that simple. No, sadly. Things are a little bit more complicated, but that's a nice thought though. I forgot to consider how my actions might affect others and cause their parents concern. That was terribly careless of me. Hereafter, I will pay much more attention to such things. Good, well, you learned from it. That's the main thing. Is that it? Are we done? Or is there more? Let's have a look to see if we can do sea seals. We cannot. I guess that's it for the uh, cutscenes. I guess there's more with um, this guy than I was expecting, actually. So it looks like there's a quest chain here. <laughs> but that's okay. We managed to do a lot today, so I don't think that like that's particularly a bad thing now i don't remember like where i was on my farm work i don't know if i did all my fields i feel like i only did half of them and then i got like totally distracted <laughs> so i don't know but like let's go check let's go check our fields to see what's going on we can't do any more anyway yeah i didn't do this field so we still got we still got this to like maintain and look after but that was great i really really liked priscilla's heart event i thought that was super sweet actually so yeah i'm glad we managed to get around to that it does look like we've only got lucas and cecil to really um contend with oh yeah we have to go look at our new flooring as well since we managed to get that new flooring as well so we'll do that in a second once i've right. sorted out our fields here that would be great i've got a lot of these nice. cabbages which is amazing because i actually have a quest to um 
like harvest these so that's super awesome as well all right some cucumber here very nice this music is so relaxing i really like this music actually the soundtrack's great we got some trees growing over there is that everything it looks like there's everything so let's ship all this off because we're in desperate need of money right now too all right cabbages i don't think we have cabbages do we oh we do we do have cabbages in our inventory so we can just go ahead and ship these out so there we go perfect i'm gonna put these in my in my fridge we're gonna put the fish and the egg dish in there we also i almost forgot we have these star crop seeds to plant as well so we're gonna plant all of these at the back i'm probably gonna fill this whole field actually because we got the starfall seeds to plant and i don't actually have anywhere else to plant them so this would probably be the best place i would assume it is so much so much junk on the on the field i just want to get it off i just want to get this junk off the darn field here all right get over there i'll just chuck it all over there i've been really lazy with like sawing out the like around the edges of um the fields it just keeps coming back so One, i just two, don't really see the uh there. the need of sawing it out i suppose i think i had some other seeds as well i want to plant these quickly so if we just plant these over here i'm going to plant these at the back because i don't think there's going to be room otherwise uh so plant these back here did that uppy disappear i probably should have taken that but never mind i was too interested in sorting this out but it's fine okay so we're going to also plant these starfall crops here i'm not going to charge up because that's just going to take like way too much rp so sadly i'm going to have to do it one square at a time which i know takes longer but it's not that bad because you like lock on to it so it's it's okay actually but yeah i'm super excited to do more cutscenes i really wish i could just like keep going and just keep doing more and more cutscenes i'm just i'm just greedy <laughs> i just really like seeing all the like cutscenes from all the characters and if i had my way i would just see them all at the i like i'll just see them all at once i'll just i'll just do all of them but <laughs> sadly that's not the case we have to take it slow and steady i suppose all right here we go plant up all these crops we're gonna have lovely lovely awesome crops i don't actually oh i didn't mean to do that never mind yeah i don't know exactly how much oh i can plant this apple one in the corner yeah i don't know uh, what we're gonna get out of these crops so i'm actually really excited to see what is going to grow from those because of course every season has a different starfall crop so that's going to be super cool and i'm really excited to see how majestic it will look once it comes out because usually the crops look absolutely amazing at least the the summer ones looked so cool that corn was massive and i'm hoping that like the next batch is gonna look just as cool so we'll see but yeah we're gonna have to be waiting a while for all of this to grow of course so quite a lot it's gonna it takes a little while it takes like a week or so to grow starfall crops so it's gonna take a little bit but it's gonna be super cool when it does so i'm excited for that gonna be amazing all right there's that done so we still have another farm dragon to go to actually and i'm thinking i might tame something today as well so i don't really feel like gifting so i'm thinking maybe we'll do some taming or something because there was a tame i wanted to get and i didn't like quite get around to doing it last time so we'll probably do that but i need to finish off my my daily chores because i don't think i've done the wind dragon either I think I did the fire dragon. I'll have to double check, but I think I did the fire dragon, but we definitely haven't done this one. Nothing's grown, so it's just a case of watering it today, I think. Oh boy, this is gonna take all my RP, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna have nothing left after this, but never mind. Just do it individually, and we should just have enough to water all of this up. All right, there you go. There's that field completely done. So that's great. Guess we'll finish, like, fill this up whilst we're here. Okay, now that that's done, I think all of the fields are done. But yeah, like I said, I'm just going to check the 
fire dragon farm. See if there's anything that needs doing over there, but I think we're okay. I'm pretty sure we're okay. But I'm just gonna check regardless. Okay, so I'm on the fire dragon. It seems that there's a couple of things to harvest that I like somehow missed and I actually do need RP, especially if I want to do some taming. I actually don't think I've watered this either. How, how did I miss so many fields? <laughs> I guess I was just like so busy with like, you know, harvests and stuff that I just like didn't do my, my chores that I was supposed to do. <laughs> I just got so distracted. It's so easy to do. At least I got a little bit of RP there, but I think I'm gonna need more than that, honestly, because these crops look really dry. So I'm hoping that at least something more drops here. Okay, we got something more there, so that's great. So I'm going to use a bit of my RP now before I pick that up. So it should stay there for a little while. At least long enough for me to water and then pick that up. So that would be great. But yeah, this is definitely not watered. It looks very dry down here as well. Extremely dry, actually. My fields are looking very sporadic right now. And I think it's just... Just like, I don't know, the way it turned out, I suppose. <laughs> don't think anything in particular did this. It just happened. Like, we haven't... I don't think we... We did have a typhoon in the summer, like, a little while ago. But haven't had any since then. So that's great. Okay, there we go. Whoa, lots of RP there. Perfect. We got a seed and some of that. Actually, more RP than I was expecting. I actually don't need this much RP. But never mind. Not complaining. All right. There we go. I think that's everything done here now. So that's that's great. All the fields should be done now. <laughs> At least I, I hope so. All right. Let's send all of these out. I think we're good. How much money? 43,000 incoming. That's not bad. Everything is done here. So we'll just leave this to it. Now, because I forgot to do this one, I'm just going to check the Earth Dragon farm. It should be okay, but like, I thought that about this one and it wasn't, so like, you never know. Nice. Ooh, some goodies. I'll take that. It was like right there, so like, why not? <laughs> yeah, so that was cool. I tamed a flower lily. I was actually trying to tame the, uh, the black chicken, but he didn't want to be tamed. <laughs> so that didn't quite work out, but hey, I caught this, so why not? I don't know what exactly it gives. So hold on, let me let me check. I'll have a little look to see what it actually gives. I don't know if it gives anything different because like, I already have one of these flower things. I'm just kind of curious about if it gives anything else. So let's see, it gives vines. And actually that is something different because mine was giving plant stems. So this is actually beneficial to get. So I'm glad I just randomly gave it to it because... It was in my way, so I just decided to catch it. So why not? Uh, we're gonna call this, let's see, we're gonna call it a tulip because why not? It suits. So there you go. Awesome. Um, but yeah, I got a quest completed for that as well. Just gonna send that back to the barn. Yeah, I was trying to catch this chicken. It doesn't seem to want to, to like work for me. This is the second time I've tried to catch this and it just, it's not accepting gifts anymore. Obviously these aren't liked gifts for it, but usually you can just do that and just catch them that way. But yeah, it doesn't seem to, to want to for whatever reason. So that's kind of annoying. Maybe I should bring its taming food and come back here sometime. I'm not too sure. So I just teleported home and oh my gosh, look at the flooring. It's like a little cloud rug. Oh, that's super cute. I love it. That's so nice. I can't wait to like properly decorate this, but this flooring is my favorite. I really like it. <laughs> I was just like, I completely forgot that I put some flooring in. So like when I first traveled home, I like got a nice surprise. <laughs> so that's nice. I was looking to see if I had some eggs so, so that I could try and tame this, uh, this chicken. So hopefully I do, but like I do use eggs for cooking quite regularly. So I'm not sure. If I actually have any spare, but if that's the only way to catch it, then I'll try it. I was just chucking random items at it and it wasn't working, so yeah, that's not working out. I've got four, so we could try it with four. I'm just, I'm gonna make a save file because obviously I would rather not lose all these eggs because I don't know if it's actually gonna work. 
So I'm gonna save it and then I'm gonna try again and see if I get lucky this time. I really want one of those chickens and I've tried a few times now, so hopefully this time. Oh, there you go. I gave it two eggs and it tamed almost immediately. Oh, Nugget? Sure, you can be called Nugget. <laughs> Why not? Chicken Nugget. <laughs> I like it. Finally, I caught one. Oop, I accidentally gave you an extra egg for whatever. It was worth it. I got my chicken. That's what I wanted. These things drop black feathers every day. So we got two new tames today, which is not bad, actually. There's still a few more things I want to tame, like, going forward. So I'm sure we'll, we'll like, work on getting those soon. But I want to turn my quest in very quickly, and then I think we're done for, for today we did quite a bit actually so not bad progress I would say so that's great probably what day are we on are we on the we're on the first probably yeah probably next time we play will be the festival because that's on the third so yeah that'll probably be the next time we play actually I was I gonna do I was gonna turn my quest in how wonderful you tamed a monster that gives you items please take good care of them I think this might help you what is it? Oh, Some right. kind of skill. All right, nice. Okay, I don't think we can accept another quest, but which one will be be done faster? I don't know. I guess I'll take the the twinkle tree one. Have you ever heard of a twinkle tree? I know all about them. They're super shiny. Try cutting one down, Morsi. Like I will, but I'm still like plans. It's still like growing. <laughs> I don't know how long that's gonna take. So might be a while before we manage to do that one probably but yeah as soon as I can I definitely will do that so that would be great okay then I don't think there's anything else for us to really do in the next episode I think we're going to move on to the handy craft festival so I'm looking forward to that hopefully we win but I have no idea we will see when we get around to it really happy with this floor upgrade I think it looks absolutely fantastic our house is coming along really nicely I think it's looking great the wallpaper and the flooring and stuff really help to make your house feel like your own I really like it it's great so yeah I'm really happy with it but I hope you enjoyed this episode thank you so much for watching I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my patreons and members for supporting the channel thank you so much I really appreciate it and if you are interested in donating there will be a link in the description box below to my patreon page alternatively you can also click the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel. I also have a dedicated live streaming channel that you can find in the description box below or on my channel homepage. I regularly live stream over on that channel and it would be super cool if you could stop by sometime and say hello. I would really love that. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.